Hey everybody, Konar here, and welcome back to more NCAA Football 2002. In the last episode, we defeated Illinois handedly in the horseshoe. And let me uh, find that final score so I don't forget. There it is, 66-21, a well-handled football game in the Big Ten. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it has come to this. Now, here's the thing. Ohio State, me, as Ohio State, we have already clinched the Big Ten Championship because Michigan and Illinois are currently tied at 6-1. and one. Well, technically Northwestern's like 7-1 and one after they beat Illinois. Now here's the thing. If Michigan were to win against me, they would be 7-1 and one as well and we would be 7-1 and one as well in the Big Ten. So it'd be a three-way tie for the Big Ten Championship. But for me to win it outright and head to a BCS Bowl game, I am going to need to win this game outright to win not only just the Big Ten Championship outright, but have my BCS, but have my Bowl Championship Series Bowl bid, like, totally confirmed. It all depends on this game here. So, without further ado, let's get these other games simulated and see if I get a BCS Bowl bid as well as a Big Ten Championship outright. So, with that, let's do this. <clears throat> now, this is probably going to be one of my toughest opponents because... Michigan in this game is a little tough. I ain't gonna lie. They're a little tough. Well, actually, extremely tough. Now, I thought UCLA, Northwestern, Illinois, Purdue, I thought those guys were gonna give me a tough time. But no, it seems like Penn State and now possibly Michigan is gonna give me the toughest time because I'm coming into Ann Arbor undefeated and the number three team in the country. Michigan so Stadium to in see. Dazzling, Ann Arbor, Michigan. This is a great day for football, and we're anxious to get this game underway between the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Michigan Wolverines. Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit to bring you today's game, and it's got to be exciting for college fans everywhere as we prepare for the national championship with this incredible season drawing closer to an end. The Wolverines are facing some stiff competition today, Coach. I think they're going to have a difficult time pulling this one off. Well, I agree with you, Brad. Ohio State is all about defense. I expect them to be all over the field. Whoa, the Corso's picking happen. us, even though Michigan has a better. In this one, defense as like will be sensational. three times the things better. Like, or what? like, whoa. Yeah, but watch out. Ohio State has one of the most explosive wide receivers in the country on their side. I think he'll do everything he can to keep his team in this game. But Brad, as a wide receiver, he just won't get enough touches to make an impact like he would, let's say, at maybe running back or quarterback. Thanks, guys. Should be an exciting game. Now let's get down to midfield where they're ready for the coin toss. All right. Since we're the away team, we get to pick. And we're going to go tails. And we won the toss, so we're going to kick off to Michigan. Because I don't really want to receive because that could mean bad things for us. So, yeah. So, we're going to put Michigan on offense first. And then we'll see how it goes from here. So, who will be the Big Ten champion? Well, we already know. It's us, Michigan, and Northwestern. Possibly, who knows. But can I win it outright? We'll have to wait and see here. Like right now, Michigan does not have a confirmed Big Ten championship Ball in their, own 20. In their hands. This is this game is determined if Michigan wins the Big Ten the championship. Bring in their dime package. And a tie with us and Northwestern and nowhere to go for the Michigan fullback. Brad, this is a sensational play by the defense. They just charged in there and they stuffed it. Ball on the 20. Second and nine coming up here. Ohio State brings in their nickel package. Drops the throw. Oh, they're going to throw. Number 35. And basically got back to the original line of scrimmage with that pass. And so it'll be third down. Ball on their 
own 20. Number 23, alone in the backfield. He drops back. He guns it to the left. First down. Oh, crap. That's not good. Wow. Really, guys? We couldn't tackle him. Look at him showboating. That was embarrassing. The quarterback saw the hole in the defense, and that's a touchdown, folks. We couldn't tackle the dude, and he showboats. That should have been a penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct, but unfortunately, there isn't. And he tacks on the extra point. So Michigan has the lead, 7-0. Michigan to kick this one off. Number 25 kicks it off. And Jonathan Wells is going to take it from our own end zone. Now, basically, my strategy for this game is to do plays that I have not really called that much. Basically, try to get the Wolverines out of rhythm, making sure they don't be like, whoa, what's going on here? Picked up decent yardage on that one before they could drag him down. Yeah, that wasn't a bad little run there. Ball on their own 21. Second and six coming up here. The Buckeyes line up in an eye formation. Ah, oh, crap, that's not good. Lost of five there. I don't know how they read that play, that, but that was BS. Okay, we're going to I formation vertical here this time around. Michigan. It's third and twelve. We gotta get a first down. Throwing it to Michael Jenkins and he's got it! And that's a first down for Ohio State. Oh my, that long game gives him a first down, coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. Gonna spin move on the Michigan defenders. And that turned out to be a good play, going with the halfback toss. And that'll give me a second and four here. Second and three. Ball on their own 46. Second and three. What? Second and four, Brad. What is he doing out there? Throwing into Michael Jenkins, and he's got it again. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there. Back to back completions to, to Michael Jenkins, and that brings up another first down. The Wolverine use a four man front here. And we're giving it to Jonathan Wells, and he runs for a first down. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, that was great. And we're going to catch him off guard with the hurry up offense. And oh boy, look at Jonathan Wells go! And that's another first down, and we're gonna hurry up with a hurry up offense. Trying to get Michigan off guard. And we catch him off guard again, and that's a touchdown! Ohio State! What a run by Jonathan Wells! credit to the offensive line there they made that trying to make Jonathan Wells is trying to make his final push for the Heisman Trophy here and this game is dependent on it and now Josh Houston will attempt the extra point and, he misses the and I missed it why did I miss it that was terrible. Oh, great. Not what I wanted. Don't know why the friggin' thing was all the way to the right. So... here's the kick. Now I'm gonna have to go for a two-point conversion if they score another touchdown on us. Because that was not what I wanted. 27-yard line. First and 10. 
The Buckeyes come out in a 4 3. Number 93 with a takedown at the 33 yard line. They gained five yards there. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 33 yard line. Ohio State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. On the toss. Number 97 brings him down. And and there we go. Kenny Peterson takes him down. It's going to be third and one here. You know, it wasn't a huge game, but if they can continue to do that, they'll force the defense to respect that run, and that'll open up the passing game. It's third down and a yard for the first down. Ball on their own 36. He's got the first, and down he goes at the 43 yard line. Great. That'll be a seven yard pickup. Ball on the 43. First and 10. The Buckeyes line up with six defensive backs. Let's it fly, and it's caught. Number 37 with a takedown at the 48 yard line. They get five yards on the play. Ball on the 48. They come out in a nickel. Second and four at the 48 yard line. He jukes. They'll bring him down at the 48 yard line. They gained five yards there. Great, we just can't do anything here. Why? Sixth play of this drive coming up. Michigan comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. Rolling out to the right. Oh, and he gets sacked by Kenny Peterson. Six yards setback. Oh boy. That is something we needed. This is the seventh play of this drive. The Buckeyes bring in their dime package. Back to throw. He unloads it. And that one's falling. Wow, threw it, it off like he overthrew target. That one. I'll tell you, I think the quarterback got rid of that one too quickly, Kirk. Well, Coach, you're right. They need to work on their timing a little bit more. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball in their own 47. They'll bring in their dime package. He drops to throw. He scrambles. And sacked by Kenny Peterson. And that's the end of the first quarter. Michigan 7, Ohio State 6. And we are trailing because of a missed field goal. It's fourth down and a long way. Because the game wanted to screw me over here. But that's not going to happen. Number 84, back deep to return. Number 88 gets it off. Oh, uh, this doesn't look like a good. Yeah, Number can't do anything there. Makes it to 25. Not much of a return on that one, guys. Boy, that's an excellent job of punt coverage there. Getting into position quickly and sealing off any space for him to run. Nice job. It's first and ten. Ohio State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Spin move, a Michigan defender, and there goes Jonathan Wells. Jonathan Wells gets into Michigan territory with that beautiful run. And coaches just love it when they can run the ball like that. It opens up so much of your offense. Ball on the and that brings up another first down for the Buckeyes. Michigan lines up defensively. Looking, going to throw it to Ricky Bryan. That's a terrible pass, but he still got it. And he's in the end zone for a touchdown. Whoa. Holy moly. Can we get a replay on that? We will look at that throw. I thought that throw was overthrown. He gets the football, and he's tackled right into the end zone for the touchdown. An unbelievable pass play from Steve Belisari. The senior captain here. And we are going to go for two here to make it a seven point ball game. And we got it! Yes! That is something we needed and it paid off. And we now have a seven point lead over Ohio Michigan State right State. now. Number 23 and number eight back deep to return. He kicks it. And Houston kicks this ball way out there, and number Michigan's going to take a knee in the end zone for a touchback. Ball on the 
So the blitz somehow seems to be working against Michigan, but I am I've got to be careful here because sometimes it will change. Makes a handoff. See like that. With a takedown at the 35 yard line. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. First and ten. So yeah. With these plays I'm calling, I gotta be extra, extra careful. Oh, and Mike Doss says, Welcome to my world. He just got destroyed by Mike Doss. My goodness. Mike Doss came out of nowhere and destroyed the running back. And here, and they throw, it's incomplete. That brings up third down. A very crucial third down for us here. So he can catch it in stride. Here he just put it a little bit too far in front. We're going to go with man press. The defense lines up with six DBs. Number 16, back to throw. Incomplete. And that's another three and out for Michigan here. Ball on the 37. It's fourth and eight. Number 84, back to return it. Number 88 gets it off. Number we're going to have a little bit of running room here. Here's number 84. There goes number 84. Number 84. And he gets down near the 30. He almost took that thing all the way. Perfect field position for Ohio State here. And we're going to go vertical on this first on this first down here. Michigan comes out of the 4-3. We're going to throw it to Michael Jenkins. Tipped and incomplete. Almost intercepted by that Michigan defender there. So we are going to go back to basics with that halfback toss here. Ball on the 31. So it's second and 10. The Buckeyes come out in the ace formation. And there goes Jonathan Wells. He's going to spin move the Michigan defender, but he gets bumped and tackled there. That's four yards on the play. Four yards? That was five yards. Man, the announcers are going crazy there. Third and five for the Buckeyes. And I get the first down and more. And that is good. And that was a nice gain, and he's going to have enough for the first down. Well, I think Brad, the offensive line, won the battle up front. You could see the defensive line getting knocked backwards. 13 plays, 171 yards for the Buckeyes. 15 plays, 111 yards for the Wolverines. And we're going inside, and what a run by Jonathan Wells, adding to his spectacular senior season at Ohio State. And we're going to go over the hurry-up offense. It's second in inches. Jonathan Wells has to get back to set. He's set now, and we're going to hike it. He's through, and oh, almost to the touchdown. The end zone. He is short one yard, and we're going to go goal line halfback ISO here. They're crowding the line. Touchdown, Ohio State. Jonathan Wells. Well, Coach, just like you always say, keep it simple when you're down inside the five-yard line. And now we're going to attempt the extra point, and I'm going to make sure that the friggin' thing does not go... Okay, that's that's good. Kicks it up, and, he tacks on the extra and the kick point. is good. Excellent. It is now a 14-point ball game, 21-7 Ohio State. Ohio State ready to kick this one off. Number 23 kicks it off. And Michigan's going to take another knee in the end zone for a touchback. Ball on their own 21. It's first and 10. Ohio State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He jukes. And nowhere to go. Mike Doss tripped up the running back. Ball on the 19.
Going with the shotgun here. Second and 12 here for the Wolverines. Looks like they were going to run down the clock here. I don't know if that's a wise decision. They throw it. It's caught, but he's short of the first down. A gain of nine yards on the play. Ball on the 28. Third and two. Six DBs in the lineup. At the 28 yard line. And tackled by number one. Oh, yeah. And that means Michigan's going to have to punt the ball away after a two yard loss. Number 84, the return man. I see Michigan was taking down some of that clock. Here's 84. Gonna try and get to the 50 yard line. But he's tackled at the 45. With 113 left to go, we have to score here. Ball on the 47. First and ten. To have a 21 point lead going into halftime, and we'll get the ball back in the third quarter. I'm going to look for Ricky Bryant, and it's incomplete. Too much too much mustard on that pass. Oh, yeah. I know he's fast, but not that fast. Here we go. Second and ten here. Going to run it with Jonathan Wells. And Wall, the Michigan defender. He got confused. He got even confused with the spin move, but he still tackled Jonathan Wells. And I'm going to call timeout here. I'm going to use one of my timeouts now. I have All two remaining left in the half. Ace backfield. And back off to Jonathan Wells, and that's not going to do very well. So I'm going to hurry up with a hurry up with a vertical pass play here. Not going to waste a timeout here. We'll use a timeout here. We are in field goal range, so that's a plus. Going to throw it to Ricky Bryant. He got it with one hand. He got it with one hand, and we're going to hurry up to line. Hurry up to line. Hurry up to line. Audible. 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 Okay, new audible. Perfect. Touchdown, Ohio State. Jonathan Wells running in for his third rushing touchdown of today. And he's going crazy. And now Josh Houston will attempt the extra point. Craig Krenzel will hold it down. Kick is up. And the kick is good. 28 to 7 here in Ann Arbor. Ohio State to kick this one off. Number 23 and number 8 deep to return. Number 23 kicks it off. And Michigan will be taking a knee here with 34 seconds left in this ball game. Well, not in the ball game, in the half. Ugh, why I think it was the ball game. And we're gonna go back to man press here. One man back for you. Looks like they're gonna run the football here. Oh nope, it's a it's a pass play, and they it's a backwards lateral, and it was a fumble, but it goes out of bounds, and that's a huge loss of eight for the Wolverines. An option pass, like a freaking backwards pass lateral does not work out in the Wolverines favor try to do some trickery here and the Buckeye defense just stops Michigan and I'm gonna call timeout because I kind of was I kind of want to score again I mean I had that scoring feeling again Ohio State lines up in a dime defense here But then again, I do get the ball back in the, in the, uh, and he fumbled! Oh! What could have been a Buckeye turnover just doesn't happen, but we will get the ball back with 20 seconds left. Probably less than that. But we will try to score here. Number 84, awaiting the return. 
Punts the ball away. And we're gonna get at the 50 yard line. Number 84 takes it at the 49. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Yeah, but his blockers have to do a better job of helping him out. They didn't hold the All right, 13 the seconds they just let him right through. Ball to score a touchdown. First and 10. Number 28 lines up in the deep back. I formation. And that didn't work out, so we're just gonna hurry up to the line. Ball on the 43 yard line. And just waste out this clock, because I know we're not gonna run another play. Yep. Oh well. Wanted to score Folks, one more point, but oh well. One more touchdown. Half. Oh well. Our score at halftime. Ohio State 28. Michigan 7. So far, 21 point lead, and we get the ball in the second half. Just we'll just start the second half, so let's get to it. We played one half of Michigan football, and now we gotta play the second half. Number An outright Big off. Ten championship is on the line, and Derek Ross is going to return this. Number seven, As you know, Derek Ross returned to kick off for a touchdown, and he's still on his feet. Hasn't been taken down, but he's finally taken down right around the 20 yard line. He's at the 19. And now the Buckeye offense will start off with the football the here 19. at our own 19. And look at the difference of total yardage. That is amazing. Lines up as a back. Toss it to Jonathan Wells. Spin move, a Michigan defender. And, he's tackled, the and tackled. Four yards on that play. A four yard gain on that play. We're going to go back to vertical. Michigan comes out in a 3 4. Drop the throw. Gonna throw to Michael Jenkins, who was in double coverage, but he avoided the double coverage. And he's got a first down, another reception for a first down. He's got a quick release and he's very accurate. Ball on the 43 yard line. It's first and 67 yards and three receptions for Michael Jenkins today. Gonna toss it to Jonathan Wells, and oh, the Michigan Wolverines read that. One yard loss. That was a. I lost two yards on that. Man, they're trying to say I lost one yard and make me feel better, but no, it, it just doesn't work. It does not work. Gotta hurry before I get called All for delay line. of game. <clears throat> but then again, I just should just run down the play clock. Because I gotta give Michigan a little bit of time. Oh, that was almost picked off. Guys, you threw that one right into the cover. Kurt, nothing gets a coach more fired up than to throw the ball into coverage. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, this time we're going to go slants. Mistakes like that, did you? No, of course not. Steve Belsari is 5 for 8 today and 141 oh, yards and here. one touchdown pass. Drop back to pass. He passes. Oh, I threw a terrible pass, but there's a flag, and it's defensive pass interference on Michigan, and I will accept the penalty. Oh boy, Michigan just screwed up on that one, and we are now in Wolverine territory at the 44-yard line. Number 28, alone in the backfield. And it off to Jonathan Wells, and he picks up a few yards on that play. Two yards on that one. Let's go post this is the corner. Sixth play of this drive. Try something new here. The Buckeyes line up in a split back set. Blitz is on. Gonna Let's throw go. it to Ricky Bryant, and he's got it. And that's another first down for Ohio State here. Throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. Ohio State. And you know what? I'm just going to run down this clock. I've got a pretty standable lead. I, I just don't need to rush it. I just need to, you know, take my time here. And we're going to run it. And oh, I thought he was going to break that tackle. And I think he lost yards. We lost a yard on that. Did a great job of sealing up the hole with the line of scrimmage. All right. Time for the rollout. All on the 29 yard line. Number 
Michigan comes out at a 4-3. Waste down that clock. Just need to take my time. Drops back. Gonna throw it to the wrong. I don't know what. Well, he missed his receiver there, coach. I don't know what he was doing, but that was whack. That ball's coming out a hundred miles an hour. You can't expect the receivers to get to that one. I think we're gonna go vertical one more time. It's third down and ten. The Wolverines bring in the nickel package. Drops to throw. Oh, to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Ohio State. It's Ricky Bryant. What a catch. To the end zone for a touchdown. Immediately, he attacked it. That was beautiful textbook football. And now, Ohio State will attend the extra point. Josh Houston will kick it. And I'm not going to do that. Nope. I'm going to head to the center. Kick is up. And, he tacks on and it's man. good. It's now 35-7. to seven, A 28-point ball game. And oh boy. It looks like we Ohio might win the Big Ten Championship outright. It's not yet confirmed, but... Here's the kick. It's possible. It's possible we might have the Big Ten Championship clinched outright. Well, Brad, two things here. You need to do a better job of blocking up front, but also you need to get the ball and just attack. Don't dance around and let the cover. We're gonna go man lock this time. First and ten. First and ten for Michigan here. With 159 left in the third. Back to pass. He's looking for his man. Oh wow. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that didn't work out exactly how I thought it would. This time we're going to go corner blitz. Here's Michigan's quarterback. He's 6 for 10, 120 yards, one touchdown. That was obviously a long touchdown pass that that wide receiver started showboating. He passes it. Number 84 hangs on to it. Number two brings him down. At the okay, so and somehow the corner blitzes the and other what, fellas, things are not working. Why? Wow. He's got a quick release. And he's I guess we got to go back to basics with man ten. press. The Wolverines come out the shotgun. Defense is Woodson. He unloads it. It's intercepted. intercepted by Richard McNutt. Richard McNutt. He's going to take it all the way. Touchdown, Ohio State. Longest interception return, and I get that record. Yeah. Me and Richard McNutt, me and Richard McNutt got a record. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at this interception play again. Throws it. Picked off one-handed by Richard McNutt, and he takes it all the way. 54 yards. For the touchdown! Oh boy, I am having fun right now. And the BCS computers has a, have a lot of work to do to see who they're going to put in the national championship. Kick is up, and, he and it is good. It's now 42-7. to seven. And this Buckeye defense and offense has truly Ohio State ready to kick this has off. done outstanding stuff here. He kicks it. Number eight takes it at the eight. It's first and ten. Ball on their own twenty. And look at that, 300 total yards for Michigan the Buckeye offense the today. That's like halfway, that's half, hand. bro, Number of what Michigan had, and now they just got over half with that play. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. Ball on the 38. Ohio State lines up in a dive defense here. 
Drops the throw. Throws it out there. First down. And Richard Number McNutt makes that tackle there. Let's take another look at that pass. Ball on the 43. Now we're going with corner blitz this time around. Michigan comes out in the shotgun. Back to pass. He unloads it. And and it incomplete. Completely. He just couldn't get to that one. Well, he looked to be a little excited back there in the pocket. May have rushed things a little bit. Needs to be Didn't know where he was going to. Step up, make the throw. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Ohio State brings in the nickel here. Drops back to pass. He lets it go. He's got the first. And Michigan will score a touchdown. Coach, what do you say about that? All I can say is that was a nice call. The quarterback saw the whole was the not how I wanted that touchdown. to happen. I was expecting Michigan to go like three and out, but I guess not. And he tacks on the extra point. So it's now 42 to 14 with 14 seconds left in the third. All I just need to do is just run the ball. Number 25 kicks it off. And it looks like Jonathan Wells will return this kick Number here. Takes it from the six. And Jonathan Wells breaks through a tackle. And there he goes! Jonathan Wells! Almost to the 50-yard line. An amazing return by Jonathan Wells here. Special teams, my friend. It's beautiful. For sure, I thought he was going to go all the way to the end zone for a touchdown, but oh well. Four seconds left. We're going to run this ball, and he's tackled at the 48. Got tackled. Couldn't get anything out of that. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one: Ohio State 42. Michigan 14. They've switched sides and these teams are And all now it is time for the fourth, fourth quarter. quarter. Can we hang on to our lead? Ball on their own our 35 point lead. No, not 35 point lead. 28 point lead. Can we hang on to our 28 point lead with five minutes to go to hang on and win the Big Ten outright? And there's Jonathan Wells adding more to his Heisman resume they picked up good yardage on that one Lee Corso oh baby did the O-line create a lane for him to run through I'm three for three today on third down conversions this is amazing here Michigan but can we get another third down conversion and the answer is yes we will get the third down conversion that's going to keep the drive alive first and ten and do it again we are now four for four on third down conversions this on the 42 yard line is truly amazing folks and now we're just going to run down that play clock here. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. Nothing going on that one. Okay, nothing on that one. Second and ten. That's fine. That's fine. 310 total yards and nine minutes of time of possession. The Buc for the Buckeyes. Come out in the ace formation. That's pretty incredible. And we're just going to run down the play clock because why not? Ooh. They moved. Number 28 takes Luckily the they got back nice online. Or whatever. Three with a takedown at the 42. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what? That was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. Let's go with that back slam. Line. We haven't really made any, made anything with that one. Ohio State lines up in the ace set. Oh my God, he's still going, and that's a first down. A ten-yard gain. My goodness, a first down. Unbelievable. Ball on the thirty-two yard line. Man, Jonathan Wells has been breaking the tackles like mayhem here. Uh, 
Hand it off to Jonathan he's Wells. And he's still going! And he's going! Oh! First down. Almost! First down. The two -yard line. To and the end, end zone, zone for a touchdown the short of the... the short, he's Ooh. just short. And you know, nice we're going to go score. To we are going to go score, people. And we're going to run down the play clock as we do that. Because why not? Why the heck not? Here they come. And it's a touchdown, Ohio State, Jonathan Wells. And guess what, folks? We are going to go for two here. We are going to try and score 50 points on Michigan right now. Ah, we are short. Oh, well. We tried, but we just couldn't do it. Ohio State ready to kick this one off. Number 23 to kick off. Number 23 and number 8. And we'll be kicking off to Michigan with 2.12 left in this game. Number and Michigan will take a knee zone. for a touchback. Ball on the 21. It's first and 10. First and 10 with 2.06 left in this Step game. He guns it to the left. Throws it and complete. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. Ball on their own 21. So it's second and 10. The Buckeyes bring in their dime package. Step back to pass. Oh, and he's sacked by Derek Ross. Came out of nowhere and got sacked. Third and long. It's third and 16 for the Wolverines now. And here comes Derek Ross again. Almost got sacked, and that pa that pass was almost intercepted. And Michigan will have to punt, and they give me an extra chance to win this game by 50. Number 84, back deep to return. Number 88 gets it off. And doesn't the big house look a little bit empty to you guys? Number oh, and here's 84. 84 giving us extremely good field position here. At the 34-yard line. And with a minute 38 left, we're just going to go pass it. Why? Because, by God, I want to win by 50. Going to throw it to Michael Jenkins. Number it's incomplete. Got batted. And he batted nice down. But well, we're going to go hurry up with the hurry up here, offense. Not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. Second and ten. Back to pass. He's looking for his man. Oh, that's Ricky Bryant. He didn't turn around. Okay. Let's try that again. I'm trying it again because I know we'll get 50 if we go for a field goal. So... Either way, we're going to score 50 points on Michigan. Deep pass down the right oh, that's side. a terrible pass. That one's fallen incomplete. All right, field goal time Fourth to make it 51-14. And Josh Houston, line up for the he's made 12 field goals and attempted 12. Here we go. He gets it up. And he's 13 for 13. And that means 51 to 14 against Michigan. And that was a that was from 50 yards out. Whoa. I thought he was going to doink off the goalpost. Doink it off the uprights. Well, look, well luckily we ain't doinking stuff now. And that means with 121 left in this Ohio ball game, we, and scoring 50 points on Michigan, forgot to mention that, we have he kicks it. outright clinched the Big Ten Championship, Number eight. and we will zone. head to a BCS Bowl game 11-0 overall. Holy crap, that is amazing. 
Ball on the 21 yard line. It's for now after end. this game, we are going to see who our BCS, what our BCS bowl game the is, and who our BCS opponent is. Because let to tell you the truth, guys, the BCS is going to get crazy if either Miami win, if Miami loses. And Florida loses, or if Miami wins and Florida loses, or Florida wins and Miami loses. Like, anything can happen in the BCS. And oh, got sacked. And Michigan not using a timeout. They're just going to hurry up to the line. Wow. Not using any of their timeouts. Number 16, back to pass. He rifles it and throws an incomplete pass. And there was a lot of pressure on the quarterback there. Yeah, yeah. Michigan's gonna have to punt it away. Pass was off. Do they want me to score again on him? They line up to punt this one away. Number 88. I really have a good feeling. Number 84 fields it to 37. Not much oh, and Jonathan Wells, one, player of the game, 182 the yards, four touchdowns, 26 he carries. Quickly and sealing off any space and he's a the definite run. Heisman yeah. contender, First and ten, no doubt. On their own 37. And yeah, I'm going to go throw it, because why not? They gave me the ball back with so much time on the clock, and I have three of my timeouts left, so why not? Number 21, bats it down. Nice job and we already clinched the game, and we already clinched the Big Ten Championship outright. And right into a BCS bowl game, so Number eight, why not? Heaves oh, Ricky Bryant. You got it. And he stays on his feet, and we're going to call timeout. 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 Ball on the 37. It's first and 10. 142 yards, two touchdowns for Ricky Bryant today, and five receptions. That's amazing. That's incredible. Throws it out there. Throwing it to the end zone for it's Michael Jenkins and it's incomplete. Stop with that incompletion. Boy, I don't understand that strategy at all. With the lead late in the game, you just need to run the football. That's not a smart decision. Well, Kirk, it is Michigan, so I'm kind of like doing a Woody Hayes right now, trying to run up the score against them. Run up the score. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. What yard line are we on? Yeah, I think we're on the 40 yard line, but I think we can kick a field goal from there. And caught by Michael Jenkins. What a catch. That was amazing. Whoops. Let's go half back ISO. I think I have one timeout left. I think. Touchdown, Ohio State! They worked it on the ground, coach, and the results. Just give it to Jonathan Wells. He'll run it in. Like, look at that. That is beautiful. And guess what? Guess what? We're going for two again. Cause why not? Just just why not? And two point conversion. And that is 59 to 14 against Michigan. And the big house is just silent. Ohio State. It is silent. Number 23. The only cheering you hear is the Buckeye fans are in the big house. Here's the kick. And they are going to take a knee with 14 seconds left on the clock. Ball on the 21. Michigan still has their three timeouts. We only have one timeout. They'll bring in their dime package. At the 21 yard line. Back to pass. Let's it go. Complete. It's caught and he goes out of bounds with 10 seconds left. 415 yards for the Buckeyes today. That is pretty incredible. Second down and five. They'll bring in second down five. It's second six, Brad. Number sixteen, back to pass. He pump fakes. He's scrambling. He pump faked and then he just threw the ball away. Wow. It's third down and five to go. No, it's third and six. Man, what is up with this game? 
Are they trying to Ohio give Ma State Michigan an advantage here? here. They kind of already right. lost this game. First down. Oh, my, that and they got a first a down, first really, down with one a second to go. A nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what there we go with one here. second to go. This will be the final play of the game. What will Michigan do? They pump fake and then he just throws it out of nowhere. Incomplete. Game over. That's it. Ohio State beats Michigan. 59 to 14. And look at all the Michigan fans that just left. And there's still Ohio State fans there cheering in this rivalry game. Ohio State played an outstanding game out there. They look very sharp from the get-go and continue to pour it on till the final whistle. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2002. And our final score in this one, Ohio State 59, Michigan 14. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone. Man, 59 to 14. Let's take a look at the stats. 415 yards of total offense to 247. Look at the rushing yards. We beat Michigan in the rushing game by 170 yards. And we were close in the passing game, both of us, with 242 to 244. We had the most first downs, most punt return yards, and the most kick return yards for a total of 559 yards against 302. Michigan had one giveaway. We had one takeaway. We were 6 for 7 on third down conversions, which is pretty good. For 2 for 3 on 2 point conversions. And we all we had no penalties, and Michigan did. And we had the most possession time, which is good. 242 yards and 2 touchdowns for Steve Belisari in his final Michigan game. Then you got Jonathan Wells with 186 yards, 5 touchdowns, 27 carries, an average of 6.8 yards per game. Well, 6.8 yards per carry, I think. But yeah, pretty good all around. And Ricky Bryan and Michael Jenkins, they did a heck of a job today here against Michigan. And now it is finally time to simulate the rest of the week and figure out who we're going to reverse in our BCS bowl game. But before we do that, let's check out the BCS standings so far right now. As you can see, we have clinched the Big Ten Championship outright and we will head to a BCS bowl game as the Big Ten representative. So as you can see, Florida and Miami had bye weeks during our game against Michigan. And sadly, right now, as the BCS standings have us, we are still third. Just behind Florida and Miami. And let's see what the bowl projections have us in. So they still have Miami and Florida in the national championship game. They have Ohio State playing Georgia Tech in the FedEx Orange Bowl. Michigan is projected to play Mississippi State in the Outback Bowl. Where's Northwestern? Where do they go? Ah, they're projected to go to the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Wisconsin's projected to go to the Florida Citrus Bowl. The Capital One Florida Citrus Bowl, to be exact. And Michigan State looks like they're probably going to go to the Alamo Bowl against Texas. Well, let's see what happens here. Let's simulate Miami and Virginia Tech. And oh boy! Miami just lost to Virginia Tech! And oh! We are definitely headed to the Rose Bowl for the National Championship! With that loss there... Oh boy, guys! We're probably gonna go versus Florida for the National Championship! Unless... 
And this is a big unless. Unless Ole Miss upsets the Gators in the SEC Championship game. This is a big if. Ole Miss, if they upset Florida, it's going to be Ohio State Georgia Tech in the Rose Bowl for the National Championship. We're about to see it right now here, folks. Who will be playing in the National Championship? It will be Florida. Oh, boy. This is not going to go good. We're going to get destroyed by Florida. Wow. We made it to the National Championship. Like, let's look at the standings right now. The BCS rankings, they do have us in... They do have us playing for the national championship against Florida. For the BCS rankings, and yep. Oh boy. And that means Northwestern will be playing the Orange Bowl. Yikes! So, and Texas Tech almost won the Big 12 championship. So let's simulate the MAC championship. And Jonathan Wells is the Heisman Trophy winner. Unbelievable. With 1,976 yards, 39 touchdowns, and 8.1 yards per carry. He deserves the Heisman Trophy. And congratulations, we are headed to the Rose Bowl National Championship game presented by AT&T against Florida. A new record for most rushing touchdowns for Jonathan Wells. That's awesome. Oh man, we gotta play the national championship against Florida. We're gonna get destroyed! But then again, I did say we would lose to poss possibly lose to Michigan and all these other guys. Oh boy. So we got UCLA and NC State in the Seattle Bowl. Miami and Georgia Tech in the FedEx Orange Bowl. Tennessee and Texas Tech in the Cotton Bowl. Virginia Tech and Clemson in the Gator Bowl. South Carolina and Michigan in the Outback Bowl. Northwestern and California in the Sugar Bowl. West Virginia and Nebraska in the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Wisconsin and Ole Miss in the Capital One Citrus Bowl. Uh, let's see. In the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, we have Mississippi State and North Carolina. Michigan State's playing Texas in the Alamo Bowl. Ah, Cincinnati didn't make it to a bowl game. Dang. That's gonna suck. Now let's check out the awards. So, Jonathan Wells is the Heisman Trophy winner. The best quarterback is Florida's quarterback. Best running back is Jonathan Wells. Best wide receiver is Louisville. Oh boy, yeah. Defensive MVP and best linebacker went to the Florida linebacker. He's going to be a tough one to try and beat. And Ole Miss won Coach of the Year. Ah, Jim Tressel. He almost had Coach of the Year. He finished third, right behind Florida's head coach. And behind Ole Miss's head coach. So, I'm just gonna simulate the bowl week. And here we are. The Rose Bowl National Championship will be taking place in the next episode so yeah guys hope you're ready for this finale because i'm not but that's gonna be it for today you guys thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed it smack a like on it subscribe if you're new to this channel check out my other videos i've uploaded to my channel 
and I shall see you guys next time for the finale of NCAA Football 2002. So with that, I'll see you guys later.